A troubling trend denied an increase of kids falling ill from a dangerous inflammatory syndrome linked to coronavirus. The CDC is likely to issue a nationwide alert this week to help track cases of what's being called pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome. It was first reported by New York officials and now more states began reporting cases this week. Three children in New York have already died from it. There are now more than 150 children nationwide affected by this illness, including two in Kentucky. Dr. Alex Jahangir with Vanderbilt University Medical Center is joining us live tonight. Dr. Jahangir, thanks so much for joining us. You're quite familiar with coronavirus. You serve on Metro's COVID-19 task force, but this syndrome affecting kids, what do you know about it? Are there any confirmed cases here in Tennessee? So uh, what I can tell you is there's no confirmed cases here in Tennessee, to my the best of my knowledge. You know, it is a, a very new um, development that people are noticing. As you mentioned, it started in Europe and, and New York are really where the majority of the cases are. Um, and, and what it is, is it's kind of a vague disease in that um, kids present with high fever. Um, kids present with um, some vascular problems and um, sometimes a rash. And there's something called Kawasaki syndrome, and this is something similar to that. So it's very, very new and, and very surprising that people are starting to see this. But as we know about this disease, it's um, a lot of new things developing with it every day. Okay, you touched on a little bit of this just a moment ago. So what are the specific symptoms of this inflammatory syndrome? And is there a treatment? Sure. Sure. So the, the temperature, high, high fever, having um, a rash, and then in really bad cases, um, toxic shocks. So essentially, the body goes into shock and shuts down. Um, it is fortunately very rare um, in children. Children, as, as you know, do get corona uh, virus, but it, it doesn't cause these symptoms except in a very rare case. Um, the, the treatment for it, there is good, me good medication. You start with aspirin. There are certain antibodies that, that are given to people, and steroids will help kind of control, keep this under control. So there is treatment for it, but it is a, a very um, scary, but fortunately rare um, side effect that seems to be as a result of COVID-19 in young kids. So, doctor, what are we talking about in terms of the age range for the children? And if you catch it early, is that what you really need to do to make sure you get on top of it? So, you know, COVID-19 in general can happen at any age. And here in, in Nashville, we have about 200 out of the 3,000 or 3,800 cases that are in children from 0 to 17 years old. This seems to be uh, something that really impacts the one and two year old range. Um, and yes, re being aware of it, recognizing the high fever when you're worried about it, go see your doctor soon. Um, there are ways to prevent the bad complications if caught early. All right, Alex, uh, thanks so much. Dr. Alex Jahangir with Vanderbilt University Medical Center joining us tonight. Thanks so much. He's not going anywhere. We're going to be checking back in with him just a little bit later on, and we'll see you again at 645. Thank you, doctor.